Honorable Chair, Honorable Ministers on the dais, dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to first of all thank the government for choosing a very opportune time for hosting this most important event of this year. Why the most opportune time? Because time has come when we need to give a message to the world that Nepal has survived despite 25 years long tr political transition. Now we have a government which is stable, a government which wants to take the reform process forward, which was left behind in 1992. And Thank you for responding to the call of the government with this level of overwhelming enthusiasm. We are truly delighted. We, along with my non-resident sons, work in many different countries, including Nepal. While building the first and the only multinational we consciously chose to continue to have our headquarters in Nepal, not for emotional reasons, because we truly believe in Nepal. We've grown, we've grown, we've earned the respect, we've, we've received the unex unthinkable and extremely warm responses from partners like the ones with whom we've signed today, anywhere in the world. This, this has given us an opportunity to not only talk about what we do ourselves, but also to bring them to Nepal to open new, new pastures. I want to thank our partners, Sky Power, with whom we are going to open a new chapter in Nepal in the, in the contest of uh, installing 600 megawatts of green energy and today also marks a history as a matter of fact. Probably this is the first event after promulgating the federal Nepal's constitution that the Honorable Chief Minister is entering into a partnership with the private sector in a forum like this. This has clearly given a message that now like many other countries in the world Nepal's different provinces are going to compete. Compete to attract more capital, com compete to attract more entrepreneurs. I congratulate you, Honorable Chief Minister, for your courage and for your support. We intend to build 200 megawatts of uh, power plants in Pradesh number two, province number two. I also would like to acknowledge the extraordinary and outstanding support that we've received from Board of Investment for making all these joint ventures and initiatives possible. I want to congratulate the government, the Prime Minister, the Honorable Finance Minister, Honorable Minister of Industries, Foreign Minister and BOI in particular for pulling through what I consider an outstanding conference. I think it's been a great success. Nepal is now being seen all over the world as a probable destination for Nepal, but the real job begins now. People are going to watch how, how we move forward after the conference in terms of deliveries of our promises, how these joint ventures which have been signed are going to move forward, how these, the parties who are involved become the ambassadors of Nepal to take the message to the entire world that indeed now the time has come. Don't be late, you're going to miss the bus. Nepal is ready, ladies and gentlemen. I would once again urge you've heard un uh, unwavering assurances of our senior government dignitaries during the last two days the way at the pace at which all the reforms have been enacted in, by, in terms of the many critical acts and regulations speaks for itself. Institutional frameworks have been established. That gives 
that has every reason to give the needed assurance to the people that Nepal will now not, it's going to become unstoppable. Please take benefit of this opportunity and join us. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you indeed, in fact, very much for all the enthusiasm you bring.